Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding arrange table by gender and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called genders with two different columns, user ID and gender. User ID being the primary key for this table. Gender is enum type column with three values, female, male or, male or other. Each row in this table contains the ID of a user and their gender. The table has equal number of female, male and other categories, right? Okay. So we are asked to write a SQL query to rearrange the genders table such that the rows alternate between female, other and male. In this order, the table should be rearranged such that the IDs of each gender are sorted in ascending order. Return the result table in the mentioned order. Okay, let's go through this example and what, it, what this means, right? So here we have in total nine different users basically right three of them are male three of them are female and three of them are other right so now what we need to do is we need to rearrange this in the order that firstly female comes then male then other comes then male comes and then it re keeps repeating on right and how do you know like which first three rows are going to be uh, like which user id is going to be female first then other first and then male first and then female second other second uh, male second right so it says that should be rearranged such that the ids of each gender are sorted in ascending order right so basically if you see right so for female right so for female what are the user ids we have seven we have three and we have nine so three is going to be the first one then the seventh is going to be the second one and nine is going to be the third one right so the first row of the output should be three female then the second row is going to be so it should alternate between female other and male so the second row is should be from other now for other which one so other has user id two six and one so since the uh, if you arrange by ascending order this is going to be the first so after three female the second row should be one other and for male similarly so we have five eight and uh, four right so again arranging by ascending order four comes first so after three female and one other it should be four male and it should repeat and if you see three female, one other, four male, and similarly female, other male, female, other male, depending upon the user ID, right? So to do this, what we need to do is, firstly, we need to basically rank based on different genders, the user IDs, right? Because it is a criteria for us to rank, right? And then what we need to do is, once we have that uh, rankings, for different genders based on user id then we also need to rank these different categories because if you see what is this female other and male basically this is getting a, like the first rank the second rank or third rank or whatever values right so what we can do is we need to create two different columns here right with two different ranks and based on those ranks we are going to arrange this genders table so let's see what we can do here right so from this genders table right let's return both the columns right and create the third column you know which is going to basically rank for different genders right the user ids in increasing manner right so we can use different ranking functions as discussed in previous videos there are three ways rank row number and dense rank I'm going ahead with rank here, right? So rank, and then since this is a window function, we can write over and then partition by the gender column and order by the user ID, right? And let's alias this column as rank one, right? So basically what this will do, right? So let me just copy this here. You know so that we 
are able to see what is actually going on because it might get tricky for some people so here okay okay so we are creating the third column rank one and since it says partition by gender right so the first thing that is going to happen let's create partitions so let's cut paste all these right so now we have three different partitions right so if i just show this by spaces so this is one partition this is another partition this is the third partition then it says order by user id so four five eight already ordered here seven three nine it should be three seven nine right so it should basically come after this right okay and here it should be um okay so it should be one two and six right so one two and six okay so now we do this and now we are basically ranking right and then storing this in rank function or rank column so this is going to be one two three then again for this one two three and then for this category one two three right so we have this that for each of the different genders which is the first user id the second and the third user id based on the rank right because we need we need that you know to sort the uh, our final result by user id as well right but we don't need to uh, sort it directly by user id for each of the gender the first row should be least user id for that particular gender right then what we can do is we can employ the case when statements and say that when the case when the gender is female you assign that value one when it is other assign that value two and when it is male you assign that value three because that is how it should alternate right female other and male so what we can do is we can write case when gender is equal to female right then assign the value one when gender is equal to other then assign the value two else it is going to be male right so i'll, I'll assign the value three then end the case statements and let's alias this as rank two so basically what will this do now okay so the column called rank two that that which we are creating so here all the males are being assigned what number three right so here it will be three 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 females are assigned rank number one 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 and then others are assigned rank number two two and two okay so we have this now what we need to do is we can store this entire thing in a common table expression so with common table expression as and this entire thing in parentheses right now what it says is how do we get our desired output that is we need the you know we need to gender to alternate between female other and male but also in the female one the first one or the least user id should be the first row right so what we can do first thing that we can do is you know so if you see for different ranks right for uh, male female and other we have rank one and one two and three repeat right so what we can do is from this common table expression right let's return since we only need two columns in our output right user id and gender right user id and gender but we need to order by certain things so if i write order by rank one right let's focus on what will happen so order by rank one so rank one is basically values one two and three so it will take this one right so this is basically going to be the first one 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 right so these three are going to be the first three rows then two two and two right so let me just cut paste all this thing you know so that we understand uh, what is happening at each stage right so just by this this much part right select uh, user id gender from ct order by rank one so what will happen so all the ones will be aligned one after the other right 
and this one as well right similarly all the twos will be aligned one after the other twos in this column right so this one and this one right and what will happen is for threes okay so for threes this is going to be there so this is ordering by rank right in ascending order now if we do order by you know this one and then if we do rank two right why rank two because here if if we you know if we don't do this right if we don't do this and just return user id and gender so what it is going to return male like four three one five seven two but we don't need that we want that it should alternate from female to other to male right so if we write this right so how will this rearrange so here all the three values of this column is going to be same right it is same one so now the rearrangement takes place with this column right so what will happen okay so one one is going to take precedence then one two will come and then one three will come so this is basically going to be the last one for this one similarly for two right so two one two two and two three if you just you know rearrange this and similarly three one three two and three three okay so now if you see it is exactly same as what we need right so three one four seven two five nine six eight three one four seven two five nine six eight that is female other male female other male female other male right so you got it right you got the output so let me remove this and let's run this query to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it it is kind of a tricky question where you know if you directly go by uh, you know sorting by user id column it might be tricky so the first thing that we need to do was try to partition by different genders and then arrange by user ids and try to assign a rank then for female male and other we need to assign certain different ranks and then use both of those ranks to get the desired output in the way that we want okay so this is how we do it let me know if you have a better solution or a more efficient solution to do this let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video